Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. So I just got up. Just let the dogs out. I haven't even made coffee yet. It's Saturday morning. I uh, just left for the gym, but I got up because I need to start cooking. Today is a very exciting day. This morning, I am going to get started on making a lasagna. So I need to start the sauce and I actually don't have a ton of fresh tomatoes right now. I've already processed most of what was ripe, uh, but I do have a lot canned. So I'm gonna start um, some, some kind of like marinara type sauce. And I also need to make some cheese, but I was gonna wait because instead of taking the milk that was milked last night or yesterday morning that's already in jars and has been like flash cooled and all of that, I'm just gonna wait until the milking this morning and have Maya bring in the milk that's warm and make the cheese out of that. Because I'm making um, a monster amount of lasagna today. <laughs> because today's a special day. I'm gonna run out to the garden and grab some herbs so I can start this sauce. It's 7.05 in the morning and it's warm enough out here that it is heavily fogging up my camera from coming from inside. <laughs> This variegated basil is my favorite to put in sauces. It's not just really pretty, it's also like kind of spicy. It just does really well in like a tomato sauce and that's what I'm making for my lasagna. Is like a, I'm gonna use sausage from the farm and lots of herbs, tomatoes, onions and garlic, cook it down and, um, and then I'm gonna make cheeses. Now I'm on the hunt for some oregano that's good. This oregano has bloomed a lot. But I think there's some younger parts of the plant back here that actually underneath the pineapple shit sage is some that hasn't yet really flowered much. So I think this is my best bet. You know, this rose was eaten down, I mean, almost to nothing by Japanese beetles. And then it just did a whole new flush of growth and it's now blooming all over again. I feel like there's probably a life lesson in something like that. It treated that attack as if it were being pruned and as if it helped it grow better. <laughs> Time. The garden is full of insect chatter this morning. All right. I got my big mamma jamma pot here because I'm making a lot of lasagna. This is three diced onions. This is going in, then garlic. I'm gonna saute that down with the herbs and then put uh, probably about six quarts of tomatoes in. I'm making a whole lot of sauce. And then I'm just gonna let that slow cook on low for the next couple hours. Then I'll brown the meat and mix it in. My kids are gonna wake up smelling this amazing fragrance and think that um, I'm making some really good breakfast and be sad to learn that this won't be on the table till this evening. Hey guys, it's a little later in the afternoon. I have thoroughly destroyed my kitchen, but I'm about to start putting together my lasagnas. This is crazy. Intense amounts of food. This thing holds 14 quarts. <laughs> like That's the sauce. Here's the cheese mixture, which has Asiago, Pecorino, um, the homemade ricotta, mozzarella, parsley. This is the first pan. I've got the second one ready. I am using gluten-free noodles. So Maya took the kids with some of our other friends that are in town visiting from Arkansas. They're also actually uh, looking to move here in a few months for uh, business reasons as well. And so I'm making a lot of food because we're gonna have several people over here tonight. And it, Everything smells amazing, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I just wanted to pop in. I thought I would have more capacity to vlog throughout the day, but I'll get the important parts. Holy cow, I'm a smarty pants. I was going to do a W, and then I did the M. I was like, oh no, and then I did the M. You almost messed up, but you got it right. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We're getting ready, huh? When are they gonna be here? Just a couple hours. Barry, you getting it ready for me?
It might. It's just that'll bring you up by the top of my farm and you won't have to go down that dirt road that has all those low hanging trees. So what? You're gonna you're gonna go left there in Ridge Spring. What do you think, Bear? Daniel just called me. He's about 12 minutes out, so I'm gonna go get the kids, get Maya, and uh, I'm gonna get down here to greet them as they get here. Now, I, I bought this yard sign intended on putting in the yard for their rental, but that, we just got that worked out here last minute, and he actually can't move until tomorrow, so we'll welcome them, welcome them home here and then help get them settled to their actual house tomorrow. That's right, your son is so clever. <laughs> yeah, there they are. We saw a really big one on the way when we were going, coming back from the east. Did you see the big All right, y'all ready? Hold it up, Toby. Higher. Bear, are you a part of the welcome committee? If I can. No. I want to see you. I want to see you try. I'm going to. There's not going to be no try. I'm going to do it. I guess you have to show us. What if we were sitting here filming and so excited it? and Daniel like took out no, the frame? I already said that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Daniel, he posed that exactly. Woo! Yay! <laughs> what if they stopped and backed up? <laughs> what if they were like, never mind? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you so happy? <laughs> As you can imagine, with excitement like that, after Daniel and his family got here, the camera lay forgotten. We ate delicious lasagna and had incredible fellowship with friends and celebrated the fact that one of our very dearest friends moved here from Alabama to South Carolina to be a part of what we're doing. It's now actually two days after the first half of this video was shot. Uh, we spent all day yesterday moving them into their rent house and getting them all settled. And if you've missed me talking about this and we're just kind of confused as to what's going on, our friend Daniel is actually has, I'm saying is because I've been talking about it in the future, uh, but it's now happened. He has moved here uh, to come and roast coffee for our roasting company. We're uh, getting ready to start. Him being here obviously makes that possible. We got our first green coffee beans here this weekend. Um, our friend David brought them up from Geo and introduced you guys to Giovanni, the um, fourth generation Guatemalan coffee uh, farmer. He, he works here from the States connecting roasters directly with his family's farm. So the coffee beans got here this weekend. Daniel got here this weekend. We're still working on finishing up the last bit of work on the roastery, getting our certificate of occupancy so we can hit the ground running with making coffee for you guys. Obviously we're really excited Daniel's getting settled and uh, he and I are going to shoot some content so you're going to hear from him later this week and I'm sure fairly regularly because he's going to be around. I know you guys love when Daniel is around. He is the, the man behind that lovely acoustic guitar music you often hear here on my channel um, and has been and has been a close friend to us for a really long time like a brother and we're so thrilled to have him here close. In garden news, the current project is getting the garden geared up and ready to uh, be moved over to the fall garden because that believe it or not it's time to be thinking about that wow look at this look at the pollinators on this basil there's got to be 300 bees on this right now no exaggeration you know we love talking about growing food here. That's a big part of what we hope to do in producing content on Roots and Refuge. We want people to feel empowered um, to turn your waiting room into a classroom no matter where you are to begin the process of learning, becoming a gardener, becoming a grower, a homesteader, um, embracing the homesteading lifestyle and all of that. But 
equally as, as important and possibly even more important, we really love to promote um, a culture of community and making choice for relationships. And we've been talking about that sort of thing on the podcast a lot because a lot of times that's better handled in like a long format conversation. Uh, Maya and I just did a podcast called The Art of Hosting Well. It just came out this last week. I'll put a link to it if you guys haven't listened to it. Um, and just talking about opening yourselves up to relationship. And right now, we are experiencing in our life, and I hope that through opening the window and the view into this like glass house as I, as I view vlogging, I hope that you see the richness that ongoing choice for community and relationship creates. Um, because it is a really sweet and special thing um, and it hasn't it hasn't come always easily it hasn't come it's not a given uh, there's been conflict and choice made in all the relationships that we have and effort and intention and uh, you don't you don't have relationships that are um, you know decades old and that span over the course of multiple life seasons without a lot of real choice and intention and I'm so thrilled right now to get to open up our community for you guys to see and take from and even be a part of. This has been a really special week. It really, it really has. Even just editing the first part of this video, I was getting all emotional and I'm so excited to share it with you. Thank you for hanging out with me today and all the days that you do. I bless you. Until next time.